Right, let's do some more stuff. So I am in the area by the Zandvoort racetrack, and I just thought I'd um, just thought I'd see how close I could get to it. And uh, I've pulled over to the side of the road just to turn the camera on. Let's get back out on the main roads. So um, many of the roads are closed off, obviously, because of the race. So anyway, I'm just cruising about. Got my little sat nav on my uh, handlebar. And uh, I've gone past a road that was closed, so um, I couldn't go down there. And this is my next best guess. Chances are that this is a... Uh, this will end in nothing, but anyway, why not? I've never really ventured over in this area before, so I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm going to see. Um, just looks like the back end of an, I think it's a dead end, yeah, <laughs> of a housing estate. There might be a little way across here. It's a bicycle bridge, so that's nothing for me. back out of here and uh, see where to go. Well, while we're riding about we could discuss the uh, typical Dutch road system. Uh, as you can see there's a bike lane almost everywhere you go um, they try and segregate them like there on the right hand side where they keep the different modes of traffic away from each other as much as possible and then um, yeah it's only really where there's no space they will bring see the bike lane there on the right hand side how it's uh, separated by a curb, realistically. Let's close the visor, you better hear me better. Uh, and that's a two lane, you can see that there's two lanes uh, on the right hand side, but there's also another bike lane on the left there. So, um, oh, nice old gate to some mansion, or there you go, big manor house down there couple of houses, this looks like a coach house and a house. So I have, I feel like I've been here at least once in my life. Beautiful isn't it? Nice little lake, lake there look, in front of the house. Oof. I think you have to have a fair bit of money to live around here. And also I think you have to have had money for a long time. It's a bit of old school vibe about the Netherlands, especially the older cities. And uh, even in the countryside, uh, the sort of plant growers and the farmers and stuff, um, a lot of it's inherited money. So, you know, they made uh, the, the purchases years ago and uh, it's handed down through the families. I'm really, um, I'm really unsure we're going to get anywhere near the racetrack. Um, we're quite away from it now, I imagine. Yeah, what to talk about? The weather, the weather's very average. We're at the end of August now, it's the 26th of August by my uh, dashboard. And it's uh, quarter past one in the afternoon. It's not exactly cold, but it's not warm particularly. It's 20 degrees. I'm wearing autumn clothing. Well, a mixture of autumn, spring, summer kind of stuff. Another random speed limit at 60 here. 
another big old beautiful house there with a coach house and a little secondary dwelling and actually I think this is quite typical of uh, the more upper class uh, areas this becomes a bit wooded and um, yeah a little more private but you know that there will be houses behind these gates and uh, the big houses like to stay a bit more private right it's saying turn right in about 600 meters look at this gaff look look at that what a gaff Whew. down to 50 you can hear the wind probably it is quite windy as per usual in this country all right there'll be this traffic lights turning right where are you going pal Right, back down to 30. Yeah, that's okay, that scooter rider. I don't really know the rules about that. That's alright, he was fine, I let him go. No dramas. Probably I was in the wrong, I should have just hung back and waited and see where he was going to go in. But I did that in the end, so that's fine. Do you know what? I have been here before. I went for a ride once with a group of Dutch motorbike riders. And I'm sure this is the way we came. It certainly was the area we were in. Look at this beautiful little bit of waterway, look, look at that. Right, left here. And then we're getting some yellow road closure kind of signs coming up here and there. I'm right, going to turn right on here. Oh, lovely little uh, place to live here next to the water, beautiful. Follow the road round to the right as it were, over another little train track there, look. I feel like we must be pretty close. Well, this would be a beautiful place to live, wouldn't it? Apart from all these people parking their car so they can go to the races, probably. We must be pretty close. Another oh, beautiful house to that. Wow. Okay, it's saying to turn right on this roundabout. I'm going to give this little guy a nod. Why not? Polizzi, the old police bikes. I do admire the police uh, bikes, to be honest with you. I, it's something I always wanted to do. Um, in Back in the UK, I did apply for the police force a couple of times, but it was back in those days where they weren't really interested in employing straight white men. I applied about three times and uh, gave up. But I'd love to have gone through and ended up being a police uh, motorcyclist. That was kind of my dream job. But nonetheless, that never happened. Maybe I'll get to uh, be a, a motorcycle YouTuber instead. Let's 
actually almost looks a bit English, doesn't it? Look, oak trees, slightly textured fields. What a place to live around here, eh? Beautiful. Look at that, even some corners in the road. Don't get that very often. Well, look. It's telling me to slow down to 30 kilometers an hour because there's some corners coming up. Golly gosh. The Dutch must be very scared of going around bends. a normal corner. I don't think it's anything special. Come to the Eng come to England guys. I think every single road's got corners like that on it. Yeah I think we're getting closer to the racetrack now. See a lot of cars there that all parked up. A park and bike look you see this is a parking for the Formula One. And uh, well, I'll tell you what I noticed last year, I noticed that they uh, had, um, uh, there was a post on LinkedIn uh, bragging about um, the fact that so many cyclists were going to the Formula One in Zandvoort and how good it was for the environment. But of course, what it doesn't show you is all the people like that, they just parked a couple of kilometers out, hired a bike and cycled the last little bit. And it's only because there's literally nowhere to park at Zandvoort. So there's no other choice. You either go by train or by, by bike or I guess possibly by motorbike. There's probably motorbike parking there because not that many people are going to attend a Formula One race on a motorbike. So this is interesting. We're actually in a little traffic jam here because there is somebody riding along the road on a little electric scooter which I'm actually fairly sure should be not on the road but on that cycle path but anyway I, the, the rules here so see that says Fietspad which is bicycle path in Dutch but I don't know some of them you can and some of them you can't use mm, nice trike um, so it's, it's difficult to know. See, I reckon this is as close as we're going to get. I reckon this road is closed. And this video is just going to be a bust. Yeah, see, I would need to turn left here and the road is definitely shut. So, that's that. I thought maybe I possibly could have gone down there, I don't know. Anyway, nothing else, we get to ride around this nice little bit of uh, the Dutch, shall we dare say, countryside. It's very nice around here, I mean, I imagine that if you want to buy a house here, you have to be a multi-millionaire. You're not buying a house around here for 350 grand, I can tell you that for nothing. Oh, look at that, they've put concrete bollard right across it. Stop people going down there. Yeah, road closed to your left. Yeah, you can't get down there. So the answer to the question of how close can you get to Zanford when a Formula One is on is not very close. Ultimately, you can't get anywhere near it. So there you go. I actually did a quote here a while ago for paint removal on a house. The quote was so high because we didn't want to do it. Luckily we didn't get it. <laughs> well, these houses are nice, aren't they? Very interesting decor. Right, we're overtaking a, an abandoned car. I wonder if that gets towed away. 
maybe it's uh, the car for these uh, traffic controllers up here. Can't turn left, it says. No, you can't get anywhere near it. Zanfort is a bust on Formula One day. I think if you are, or if you were on a bicycle, I reckon you could get all the way down there. Well, there are cars turning left here, so I don't really know what to do. I think I'll just follow the car and turn left. Just uh, we're on a motorbike. We can always turn around. I don't reckon we get anywhere near it. Oh, I love this bike. Yeah, it's telling me to go straight on, but I don't think I can. Well, I can. No, I don't think so. No, look, see, that people, we must be pretty close because look, people are from Germany there and just and France just ditch their vehicles and stuff. So we must be we must be very close. But nonetheless, I don't think you're going to get much closer. So I think that's it. I think I'll pull over and turn this camera off and go for a little ride somewhere else. Nothing to see here. <laughs> so yeah, well, now where to pull over?